Good afternoon to those who listen. It is November 7th, November, December 7th, 2023, 2.43 p.m. And what you're looking at here is my test results already. I literally just got back from the the, doc, the hospital, which is you know where I did the labs. And they already got some of the results done already. I also had um, allergy panels done. So, but you know, according to the, you know, these are like the same results that I had before. White blood cell count is elevated. Everything else is normal here. I have elevated neutrophils, but they weren't worried about it. And then the Neutrophils absolute. And then this one is actually a tiny bit low, the lymphocytes. And mono's absolute is elevated. I don't know what any of this means. And but the last time they were had like the same results. And they just said uh they weren't worried about it. So I guess we won't worry about it. Alright, now um I'm going to go through the comments and reply to the comments from the video I did, the video I dreaded making. All right, so Laura, <clears throat> no, we accepted Christ and were baptized in the past, but were you truly born again? Yes. Was there a moment in your life where you felt a sudden change and suddenly your desires became more godly? Yes, of course. And also, prior to your baptism, you sincerely repent of your sins. Yes, and I repent of my sins every single day. And yes, so yes, for sure. All of these are yes. <clears throat> so, yeah. I mean, my prayers have been answered in the past. And, uh, you know, I've been going through a lot of health problems in the past. If you can go back and look at some of my... Stuff I did in early 2018 when I was having all those problems. I thought I was dying. I was delivered from that. And I thought I was dying then, too. It was really bad back then. Whatever was happening. It was a different thing. It was like... I don't know. It was weird. It was like I couldn't breathe, but I, could, I couldn't... It was different. I don't know. This is... What's happening now to me is way worse. So I don't know. You know, I couldn't breathe, but it was a different kind of couldn't breathe. It was weird. But yes, I am definitely born again. I've definitely been baptized, and I definitely have repented of sins, and I've, I do that every single day. <clears throat> Robert, thank you for, for prayers. And thank you for that comment. <clears throat> yeah, you know, it's like... I get that all the time from my friends. That's why you're fat. That's why you're out of shape. That's why you have health problems because you you don't do nothing. You just sit around. And ugh. I try to do what I can when I can, honestly. And today I'm going to try to go for a walk. I've been feeling better. I still am winded, but not as bad as it used to be. So thank you for that, Laura. <clears throat> Laura Young. You answer your own question. Every time you have a video, I get worse. And I don't want to say every time, sometimes. A lot of times it's happened. <clears throat> this time when I put the video out yesterday, I actually felt better afterwards. So that's good. So maybe that's something good. You need to get the scriptures. Yes, I need to. Yes, I, that's a good, a good one. I read the Bible, not as much as I should. And I want to do more Bible studies on here. But it seems like when I do the Bible studies on... On YouTube, it seems like afterwards, I my health goes drastically bad. It's weird. But I am yeah, rebuking, binding. I do that, maybe not as much as I should, and maybe not as much lately. So maybe I need to do that. I've been, yeah, when I saw this, I was like, I started doing that when I was praying. And, yeah. So no matter what, you know, I've always said this too, no matter what, you know, whenever I'm going through, I'm still praising the Lord, even though it's hard to do. But, I, you know, I still do it. I never used to do it until the last couple of years. Because, you know, in the Bible, it says we're supposed to, you know, praise him through everything. Praise him through the storms. Not just when things are doing, going good, but praise him always. So, yes, I believe that. 
And yes, that is all the truth there, too. Just throwing everything at us. But yeah, we've already won. So everybody, please know that, too. Anyone that is born again, anybody that, you know, is uh, written in the book of, of life, we are we are already winners. We have already won. God has already won, and he, you know, the enemy is defeated, so that's true. We just need to hang in there. Sometimes it's hard to hang in there when you feel like you're dying, but we still have to do it. Yes, so thank you for that. I looked up that chlorine, uh, ancient but still here. I looked up the chlorine dioxide, and I'm thinking about trying that. I've, I'm, I take so many vitamins right now, and I have all this other stuff that I take, uh, you know, to, for uh, detoxing. I do borax. Uh, I just started that deotominous earth, and I just finished my 10 days. You're, you're supposed to go 10 days taking it, and then take 10 days off, and then go back another 10 days, and this time doubling the dose. So when I first started doing it, I thought I was getting better, but then kind of got worse again. I don't know. It's really weird, but hopefully we can get over this. I just want to be healthy so I can do God's will. That's my whole thing with with everything. I just want to do God's will. And I feel like I'm failing when I can't get on YouTube and I can't do Bible studies. I can't do Christian music videos and encourage people. I feel like I'm failing. So I, I really wanted to do that. But it feels like I'm always sick or something's wrong with me when I can't do it. But yeah, I'm thinking about trying that chlorine dioxide. But, you know, I got to I gotta order it and everything, too. I've got, you wouldn't believe all the vitamins and stuff I'm on. I do vitamin D. I do zinc. Every, you know, these are all everyday things, too. Activated charcoal. Um, vitamin C, I'd mainly do drinking uh, orange juice because the vitamin C is absorbic acid. And apparently you don't get as much. It doesn't absorb as much. So you're not getting the pure vitamin C. Um, what else am I doing? Um... Um, let me think. Can't think. Uh, garlic. I do garlic. Um, what else? I do the knack. Claudio Silver. I got glutathone, which is supposed to be a good detox, but I was having some weird stuff happening at the time when I first started taking it, so I stopped taking it for a while until I get better, and then I'll try again. Angel, or Angela, praying for you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And, you know, God bless every one of you. You know, I really appreciate you guys. I don't know if you guys realize how much I appreciate you guys. And I just love, you know, every one of you. And I, God bless every single one of you. This is what I, I like about my channel the most is the people. And how, you know, we have, you know, created relationships even though we're not, you know, face to face. We have relationships on here and you know every single one of you are special to me and this is a for me it's a better way to comment on this because a lot of times when i comment they'll disappear if i reply the comments disappear and sometimes people get the replies and it disappears but sometimes it just disappears so i hate doing replying and then uh you know it disappears deleted, whatever, and then the person never gets the reply, if, if, you know, that, that that's terrible. Annette, yeah, I know, it's, 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 it's hard going through some of the stuff, and I know there's so many other people going through some hard times, you know, with their health, with financials, you know, situations, and, you know, whatever it is, you know, we all, you know, have you know, trials and tribulations, so thank you for that. Uh, have you tried a humidifier with eucalyptus? Uh, not, I have a, hum, a, a humidifier. I think it's a dehumidifier. And I have some or, or oregano oil that I've been putting in there. And that's like an aromatherapy. I haven't tried eucalyptus. Um, I've heard some good things and some bad things about that. So maybe I'll have to try that. <clears throat> now oxygen... You know, I would, I'd like to be on oxygen just for, you know, when I really absolutely need it. And then that would be all I would take it. And I know there's some people that, you know, once they start on it, like you said, it's addictive. But uh, I would really super try hard to just use it when I absolutely need it. 
There's been some times where I just thought, oh my goodness, if I don't have this. Hot tea recipe. Yes, I want your hot tea recipe. Now, uh, I have a friend that says, oh, you got to do a hot toddy. Which, you know, I don't know. It seems to help, kind of. But I don't want to be drinking alcohol. But anyway, it's like a, a whiskey. And then there's, uh, I put it with tea. And then there's lemon, honey, and cinnamon, which I don't have. And uh, what was the other thing that they did? Lemon. Lemon. Was it? No, I said lemon already. There was something else. But uh, oh, cinnamon and maybe, I don't remember. But it does seem to help a little bit. So, I'm, you know, drinking a... You know, a uh, drink of that, you know, is not so bad. It's just one shot of alcohol. <clears throat> so, yes. I don't have a sore throat, which is good. I've never really had a sore throat this whole time. So, that's one good thing. So, yes, definitely give me that recipe. <sighs> yeah, and, yeah, you know, it's obvious uh, when you have breathing problems, or any health problems for that matter, it does cause anxiety. Yeah, I know. I try not to be anxious, but, you know, when you feel like you're dying, it's hard not to. So, yeah. All right. So, thank you, for Annette, for that. Uh, as Braswell, I have a friend at work. She is good. Yeah, uh, now, I don't think, I do have the same thing. I have the acid reflux. But I take uh, Prevacid every day, and, and I don't have any problems with that. I've had some problems with uh, acid reflux when I was on those antibiotics. When, um, if I don't take it, I'll have problems. And when some of these uh, asthma, preventative asthma sprays have given me acid reflux. And a lot of stomach acid. I'm on Trilogy. I just started it today. We'll see how that goes. I can't remember what Trilogy did, if it had any side effects or not. So I don't think that the acid reflux is, is affecting my breathing. It never has before. <clears throat> and yeah, I do have a little bit of congestion in my throat. It's It was worse yesterday, better today. No one. Thank you. Going through the same with steroids. Yeah, the steroids, see, they don't... Now, steroids are good because they, you know, they do help and they open up your lungs and everything. Bad part is they make you uh, hungry all the time and then it also makes you gain, gain weight. And when I was on the steroids the last time, I didn't overeat, but I was felt like I was hungry all the time. And I did gain weight even though I really didn't eat any extra. And the same thing, yeah, as soon as they're, you're done with it, then... Yeah, that's what happened with me. I felt, you know, I, I did the stupid antibiotics for a while and then the the uh, the prednisone and then, you know, felt better. And then after it was done, then, yeah, a couple of days later, it started getting worse again. Jay, yeah, again, uh, the acid reflux. I don't think that's what it is. I really don't. But, you know, it could be. But, you know, I've had acid reflux forever. And I've never had breathing problems because of it. Unless, you know, well, you know, that's just a really weird thing. If you, sometimes if you have acid reflux, it comes up in your throat. I've had that happen where, you know, uh, and, and then you can't kind of breathe. But that's just really temporary. Gator Sky Exploration, thank you so much. I really appreciate all your prayers and all your comments, too. Sorry I haven't been over to your channel too much. I see your... Uh, Videos, you know, thumbnails and everything. I just haven't gotten into watching some. I watched some of them, but not, you know, a lot of them. <clears throat> and be of happy cheer. And may you be blessed soon. Never give up. Yes, thank you. Yes, and that's what we that's what we need to know, people, that we are sons and daughters of the Most High, and we are loved, and God will take care of us. So you know, when I whenever I'm talking about my health problems, don't ever think that I that I don't, you know, pray and that uh and that I don't uh, that I do you know don't think that I give up, don't think that you know that I'm doubting God and everything you know I have in the past, but I know there's you know whatever God's will is, and that's what I go by all the time is whatever your will is, God, that's what I'll do. But I just can't, I feel like I just can't do his will if I'm constantly having health problems, you know. So I want to be healthy so I can do this. I want to share 
with the world and you guys, you know, things that are going on in the world, the signs that we are living in the last days, and give encouragement to everybody. It's hard to give encouragement when you're, you're feeling like you're dying, you know? So that's why I want to be healthy. So I can do this. <clears throat> and Sterling Stutes, hang in there. Yes, I'm trying. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you, thank you. And yes, I'm waiting on a miracle from God. I am getting better, so hopefully, you know, I'll just continue to get better and better each day. And I can uh, start doing this, start walking more, getting more into, you know, shape, going back to work. You know, I feel bad about work. I've missed six of the seven weeks, last seven weeks. And, you know, I don't know what they're thinking. I'm going to call them today and see what's going on because, they, you know, they, I don't know what they're thinking. You know, I've been sick so long, you know. But there it is. I don't want to go on forever and ever on this, but that was the last comment on this one. But, yeah, I appreciate every one of you guys' comments. I appreciate all the advice. I have really appreciate all the prayers. And just know that... I'm trying my hardest to get healthy. I'm trying my hardest to be positive, and I'm trying my hardest to just praise God through everything. And I want to be there for everybody. I want to be able to do Bible studies again and do the Christian songs and stuff. I have plans, <clears throat> and I hope I can do this. I have plans of doing the Christmas songs this year, and then, you know, like the countdown, countdown of, of the of favorite Christmas songs and also uh, Christmas Christian Christmas songs and then of course at the very end of the year after Christmas the 80s I'd really love to do that and but you know I've always had problems YouTube is always like stop the stream made it uh, the uh, the music garbled or where you can't hear it or it goes in and out and glitching and all that so I'm hoping that we can do that. You know, I'm not, mon YouTube knows I'm not monetized. I'm not trying to make money off of anything. I'm not trying to make money off of songs. So, you know, I understand the copyrights and stuff like that, but I'm not making any money. in YouTube, I'm not making any money. So just let me play these songs. Everybody else seems to be able to play the songs with no problems. But for some reason, you've given me problems for years and years and years. And there's no reason for it. It's just music. It's music. Everybody else plays it and has no problems. If you're going to you know, pick on some people, you should pick on everybody. Either nobody gets it or everybody gets it. You can't just single out certain people. And I hope the al algorithms uh, hear that and know that, hey, you know, just let the music play. Let the music play. Thank you guys. I love you guys. God bless. And hopefully we'll be doing more videos soon. I'd like to do more videos of the sky. I'd like to do more uh, Bible study videos, you know, and then the music videos. So hopefully we'll be doing a lot of videos really soon. I used to be doing them all the time, and then I, it's hard to do videos when you're having all these problems. But hopefully everything's getting better now. And I praise you, God. I praise you. And dear Lord Jesus, I pray for anybody out there that needs prayers, that has health problems, that has financial problems. You know their hearts. You know their uh, situations. So please heal them today. Give them healing. Give them relief. Give them comfort and peace. And keep them strong in the, the Lord. Keep them strong in you. Help them, encourage them to, to keep fighting the good fight. We know you're coming soon, so <clears throat> keep us strong, keep us protected, and keep us healthy. In your precious name, amen. Thank you guys for listening. I love you guys. God bless.